Okay, so we'll head back through these little stairs and head to the king's room and see what's up and yeah. See what's going on now. It's a nice castle though, I gotta say. Lord! Lou! On behalf of all the people of Astrasia, I thank you. You have the gratitude of a nation. And you have my gratitude as well. I thought I said there was no need to thank me. Fredegund, don't you have something to say as well? Um, uh, yes, sister. Um, please forgive me for all I have done, and thank you as well. Oh, uh, don't mention it, but, um, it's kind of like you've become a different person now. That I could become a different person? But that cannot be. By my weakness, I betrayed my people. I raised a blade to my sister, and I brought misfortune on many. None other than I must atone for these crimes, for they are mine. That may be so, but you are not alone here. Did I not say that? Sister! You cannot go about with such a sad face forever. The people of Astrasia, as well as our mother and father, will be watching our actions from now on. I believe you know what it is you should do now. I do. I do, sister. Well, then there is your reason to smile. Well, ain't this nice? Look at the two of you. It truly is, indeed. It's been entirely too long since I've seen the harmonious sight of the two of them together. Oh, there are tears in my eyes from this welling up of emotion. Guntram, I think you and Nimni might really get along. Oh? Well then, Lord, I will get right to it. I want you to touch this sword. You... Oh, so... This is... This was one of them, too. I was as surprised as you. I had no idea that my own blade was a fragment of Divine Edge and was also a chronicle. This is my first such experience as well, so I too do not know what to think of all this. You saw the stuff, too? Pardon my presumption, but yes. This vision said something about the One King as well. And that is not all. Fredegund has heard that name from the people in the Order. She heard what? The man the Order sent to keep an eye on me, Beardsley, he said it. He said that with the advent of the One King, the One True Way will come to fruition. The One King in this world too? I somehow don't think this is a coincidence. What's going on? All I know is that he was Cougar's enemy. And that he was such a fearsome enemy, even King Dolph and the others could not approach him. And I doubt that he will be happy that we have liberated Astrasia. As for me, I had only now heard this story, so I cannot fully grasp the entire picture. This may not be the proper time for celebration. I believe we have a more pressing issue at hand. Hmm? What are you talking about? If you go north several days from Faramond, you will find Fort Ark, a large Order stronghold. Oh yeah, that big old fortress. I do not think the Order will remain as quiet as they are now. It is likely only a matter of time before the troops in Fort Ark make their way here. I guess you're right. What's the plan? Master? You mean to move all the people of Astrasia to another land? Such a thing cannot be done. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about moving our company here. What? If you really want to hold out here, that's the least we'll have to do. Th that certainly would. It would be reassuring to have your company defending Astrasia. Would you really do this? Look, we just made all this effort to kick him out. We can't let him come back and take over again. Of course, with all my troops staying here, we might get in your way. I assure you, you will most certainly not be in anyone's way. Well, I don't think the troops would be here long enough to cause trouble, at any rate. If the order comes, they'll probably come all at once with the battalion. We're gonna have to whip them good and send them packing, so they won't think of coming around here again. All right then, 
Hope we don't mind if we take advantage of your hospitality for a while. I do not. I would be grateful for the favor. Thank you very much. I too would do anything to protect Astrasia. So thank you. Thank you for lending us your strength so we can protect our nation. Well, if it is decided, then I shall make the preparations to welcome your company. So, we get Fred again as an ally. And Guntram. Right, We're going back to the castle to get ready to move the troops. Sounds good. And Twin Blades. Twin Flash. Twin Flame. Okay. Interesting. So I think one of them is the Chronicle, and then the two swords I think are actually weapons. And I'm assuming really good weapons. Let's see here. Yep, Twin Blades. That's the Chronicle. So we should have another mark unlocked for everybody. And let's see if we can find those two weapons. Yeah, Twin Flash, Twin Flame. The Divine... Oh yeah, they look really, really good. Look at that. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if they're as good... I doubt they're as good as the Beast Sword thing, but... The God Beast Sword, but yeah. They're probably pretty close. Yeah. Not quite as good, but, you know. Raises some stats in other departments. Probably better than the Moonlight Sword. Yeah, in some ways. I could put that on, actually. Either of them would be good to put on, but... I don't think I'm going to do that right now. I think we'll worry about that another time. Yeah, but they're both really, really, really good swords. So... Alright, let's see what's going on here. You saved me, as well as Astrasia. Please accept my sincerest gratitude. Yeah, it's no problem. It seems I may become queen now that Astrasia has been restored. That is also the wish of our people. However, with the Order's menace staring us head on, any kind of coronation would still be premature. Yeah, that's a good point. For now, I would like to devote my time to fighting the enemy alongside Violege Company. There you go. What do you have to say, sir? While I would like to call her queen someday soon, I agree that Princess Crotokild's thinking makes sense. Yes, it does. A proper coronation would also be quite the undertaking. We certainly don't have time for that now. That's true. Okay, so I guess we'll head out of here. I see. So Princess Fredegard has... Yes. Under the Order's guidance, she had forgotten her parents' death, and finally found peace in her heart. How cruel these others are, to pull her back into a world filled with suffering and sadness. And now it seems that the Chronicle of the Twin Blades has passed into the hand of their company. Forget about that. While I cannot say that we do not need it, it is not entirely regrettable. More important are the Eighth and Ninth Chronicles. I understand that. We may have to use the young lady again. The librarians are under your command. I do not need to concern myself with them. Thank you. The Tenth World is drawing near, and will soon be before our eyes. Three more. If we can overcome them, the one true way will be fulfilled. See to it that we have the time. Leave that to me. Sig. Hmm? Everybody's just about ready. Okay. But, um, we moving? It's just for a little while. We'll come right back. I, for one, ain't got no intention to vacate this castle for long. Yeah, that'd probably be a bad idea. Well, don't go getting all emotional on me. Anyway, everybody's waiting for you in the main hall. Okay. Alright, I'll be there. But first, we have some stuff to do. There's a character that we can recruit, I do believe. Plus, I want to head back to Faramon for now and check out the shops. Stuff like that. So I think they have some pretty good shops. Also, one thing I do know, the trading. There is good ways to make a lot of money with trading. Now that we have access to Faramon. Because you can sell a lot of stuff there for a lot of money. So buying stuff in other places and selling it at Faramon can 
make you a pretty nice profit. So I'm going to be taking advantage of that. But I'll show you that soon enough. So let's just check this place out before we call this a recording. Um, residence, we can check that out. Hmm. When I get bigger, I want to be just like you. Naga? Sounds like a plan. What do you have to say? Ah, Sig, I heard you were in Pheromon. I'm glad to welcome you back. Okay. It's over here. Oh, Sig, I can't believe you saved the two princesses, as well as Pheromon itself. Mm-hmm. The house seems familiar. I don't know why. But let's go to the trading post, and we can sell off the loot that we have. I keep calling it loot. It's not really loot. Right now, Irish Lazulus are hugely popular. You can sell them for ten times their value nearly anywhere. Really? Interesting. Okay, at least there's actually a rumor for once. So we can sell off all the stuff we have. Yeah, but like I said, almost anything you sell here, you're going to get a pretty good price for. If, if you couldn't tell. Ooh, those Moonlight Stones are pretty valuable, actually. That's nice. And Lager Pelts. It's, it's not a bad price for them, really. Same thing with Gazelle Furs. Sell them off. Wool Yarns, we only have one. It's not a big deal, but yeah. Okay. Alright, we're good to go. Anything else going on in here? Nope. Interesting little setup you got here. Okay, let's see. We'll go to the weapon shop. I think they have some really, really good weapons, but they're extraordinarily expensive. Let's see any news? Oh, geez, look at that. Treasured sword. Scale sword. Look at those. Look, look, look at those prices. Damn. Yeah. If we have, if we want to have any hope of buying them, we're gonna have to do some trading. Obviously. <laughs> look at that. That's a good sword, though. Argent great sword. Okay. What about armor? Ooh. Party dress. Ooh, you can buy spun silver armor. That's pretty good. <laughs> Excuse me. Dragon armor. Ooh, that's a classic Sukoden armor. So far, I think it's the only armor that has more defense than warrior armor. But it doesn't have the strength bonus, so... Meh. Hmm. Lots of noble equipment. Noble's cave, noble shoes. Ooh, knight's boots. That looks really good. Ninja. Ooh, nin ninja gators. Ninja gloves. Okay. So it looks like we got lots of noble equipment and ninja equipment. All seem pretty good, actually. No, like, staffs here. I don't think this place is big on, like, magic user equipment. Oh, well. So, Sig, are you interested in women who are older than you? Uh, excuse me? Oh, I don't mean me, silly. I'm talking about Princess Crotokill. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. A romance between an exiled princess and the young hero who came to her rescue. It's just like one of those ballads the troubadours sing. If you say so. Thank goodness Princess Crotokild has escaped harm, and Princess Fredegan as well. Yep, you said it, buddy. Okay. Let's see what else is going on here. Uh, we can check out the castle, see if there's anything new going on here. Anybody just hanging out here? No? Nobody? Well, we can talk to these two, I guess. How can that traitor sit by Princess Crotokild's side like nothing ever happened? I'm not forgiving her. Dude, calm down. Princess Crotokild forgave her. Why shouldn't we? Hmm. Okay. Uh, any anybody else around here? No? Okay, it's... I guess we'll head to the inn, in the general store, or whatever, and uh, I think we'll call it a call it a, bit, 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 bit. call it a recording. There you go. Yes, words. Okay. So this is an inn and a general store. Seems legit. Any new items here? 
Uh, I guess not. The same old stuff, really. Okay. That's fine. Okay, there's the actual in 640 potch. Hmm. I don't really need to stay, though, I don't think. Oh. Do you have anything interesting to say, sir? Guntram is certainly loyal and hardworking. He always looked after us when we were fighting the Order. Oh, yeah? Even now, he is quite busy with the preparations to take in Veilwedge Company. He's a modest man, but without someone like him, I doubt this would all be going so well. Yeah, he's a good man to have. I think it was a good thing that you brought Princess Fredegund to Castle Ratzeloft in the end. Oh, yeah? Had she remained in Faramon, I am sure the people would have ended up judging her a traitor. Some of them have, actually. And yet, in your upcoming move, you will be returning here with Princess Fredegund, correct? I wonder how that will be viewed. I don't know. Probably good, I would assume, but... Anything up here? Nah, it's just the in-room, okay. We're, we're gonna call it a recording here, so... Next time, we will try to make some money on trading, and I think there's another character we need to recruit, so yeah. So, thanks guys for watching. And I shall see y'all next time.